let's get just a demo first so this is a session we are actually deployed our you know web api in our azure portal directly using the drag and drop so see so this is our app service where i just create you know our web app and here just created you know our application once i click over here and just pass it to your endpoint over here like for example i just pass it to better forecast so you can get the data right so it is simply we just deploy our web api using drag and drop functionality in azure portal so that will do in here and before proceeding i'm especially recommend you don't have any azure subscription at all so that actually completely is free that you can check out my youtube channel and i just expose this you know uh, just create a one session where you can use that azure free subscription using that you can just simply deploy using a drag and drop let's get to start implementation so first of all what i need to do i have to just log in my you know uh, portal azure portal which is completely free free so what i need to do first i go to that you know app service section and here i need to create a one web app and here what i need to do just select our resource group and put it by web app name so this is a api so let me get uh, put some name like actually web api free deployment and using that code because i there's a three way actually which we can use that for the publish mechanism for as of now we'll use code but later on we'll use everything so also we'll use what uh, framework you're trying to use so i'm using as of now dot net 8 so whatever version you want you can choose it over here and which one you want to use say linux server or you know windows so as of now i will use the window but later on also i will use that this one and which reason you want to use so as of now i just keep it uh, this one simply but you can change it as well and what other the settings over here see the default whatever we have the defaults i can choose it over here and we haven't changed anything because it is just a standard on all i'll just keep it same pricing on all and just review the review and validate which i already actually covered my you know the free azure free subscription session you can check out how we can do that but yeah uh, don't worry about that i'll show you uh, from the scratch so let me create once is validated done so let me create now see this deployment has been completed now click on go to resource once you click your go to resource you are able to see your app is has been actually uh, deployed over here as a default template so what we'll do we'll create an our app project and a web api project from that visual studio and how we can deploy indirectly using the drag and drop that i'll show you see we got that default domain so once i click the default domain now this is your app is running with this default domain okay but here is a nothing right because we haven't deployed any code on all so what i need to do i have to deploy so first of all what i need to do let me open my visual studio and let me create a one project from that scratch so that you can aware okay how easy actually to deploy so we'll later on we'll use that you know web application as well but yeah as of now i'll use that web api so you can choose template from here as well so i'll choose this guy web api project and simply i just make it a name for example uh, azure deployment web api right and just next and uh, whatever things is a default you can keep it i will just keep it as of now create now your app is ready now just check for your local first like what is your app and what is your default application right default template uh, which is given the web api how it looks like now see simply it's just given our get endpoint right and if i also swagger interface they provide the swagger interface and they given is to 200 returns right so same things same application will deploy in our azure portal so let me close that what you need to do simply go to the solution solution explorer go right click on that project and click on that publish and choose that folder next and just change your location because you can keep it here as well but yeah i'll just prefer keep it your deployment something else some other place so that uh, for example hosting 
and here what I will do just create a new folder for example this is a Azure uh, deploy deployment deployment web API right which is .NET 8 so let me create this guy and choose this now once you selected this folder let me create a finish and close that your profile is ready now you have to just click this publish profile button so once you publish profile button now see publish succeed and you can go to that uh, that uh, location so if you go to that location now see now it is your location and these are file actually created after publishing right so what you need to do go back to your you know main root folder so this is your folder right so what you need to do uh, come back again your hosting folder here just select everything okay control a or just select everything right click on that and just you have to make you know uh, you have to make a zip folder so right click on that uh, if i using windows 11 so you can see over here but if it is use windows 10 so you can see like this way right so just send as a compress as a zip folder click on that and make it your name whatever you name so let me change it to azure azure deployment web api right so also make sure like this is should be you know all the files should be over here don't make as a zip folder with using a folder right suppose in your root suppose for example see this is your root folder right so don't make a zip folder like over here right because the zip folder should contain only that file not any folders in the root folder right so that's why i show you directly how can we can create a zip folder so simply this zip folder you have to drag and drop and you can deploy right how we can that just go back to your portal here just you can just click this you know domain default domain and what you need to do let me show you one more thing actually so see this is your domain right so in this domain till azure website.net before that what you need to do you have to just put something like for example i'll show you dot so see this is your domain web free deployment this is a domain after that dot and scm right let me zoom in for you so that you can understand very well okay so see after your uh, this is your default domain right after that dot you can just make it to scm and then dot your uh, azure uh, domain right so that you have to pay set and then hit enter once you see hit enter actually it will land it go back to our you know some kudo interface so that is actually the way where we can easily drag and drop our zip folder and they will publish we don't need to take in care of anything so that i'll show you now see see they actually just redirect to your kudos interface there is a many many things over here like for example if you click that command prompt if you click that command and you will see that whatever folders and all over here and what are the packages over here see many many things over here right so i'll explain later on but as of now just focus on deployment part so what you need to do you have to click that tool section okay and in this tool section you have to use this guy like zip push deployment let me zoom in for you okay so this you have to choose that and once you choose this guy you're able to see this screen right and also you just make sure your url should be like that zip deploy ui right once you are inside this section what you need to do uh where is our zip folder here our zip folder right so let me short it so that i can simply drag and drop over here right so see here i just simply i just hold it and drag and drop over here that's it now see it is starting to deployment and also see many things over here as a, as a lock so now see see all the files actually drag and drop automatically they actually extract whatever our zip folder and now sub deployment successful right so see over here the log as well like it is deploy success or not how can make sure our deployment is success or not go back to azure portal app click on that once you click it should be run whatever we have deployed now see 
this time it is saying uh, there is nothing we can't find anything right why because see uh, this is our domain the i just host our api right so our host api actually point so what is our my api endpoint there and just pass it to here that's it now see your api returning your data that means there is a no uh, you know there is a no interface right so that's why this is an api so if you hit that api you will get the data as like this you can get it your api right so now see this is get api you can get whatever api you just modify over here right so as of now we have one so that's why you can see one api but yeah if you just create a multiple endpoints so you definitely you can call like your endpoint along with this api url so you can get that so that's all for this session like how we can easy deployment so thank you have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share